What did you know there and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we're just gonna be playing with some new products. I kind of got this, you know, I was like, oh, I want a dark lip. I'm gonna play with the House Labs Whiskey Collection, Dose of Colors, things I got from Black Friday that I haven't tested out yet. So it's gonna be a really chill, laid back, like let's get ready and play with some makeup, you know? Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this video because I talk a lot. And please don't forget to subscribe before we get started. I do upload here at least three to four times a week and I'd love to have you. But without further ado, let's put some makeup on. Take three. <laughs> Thank goodness I have a lot of coffee because, oh my gosh. Hopefully you guys, the noise in the background isn't too bad. I can't stop the HOA from pretending to be busy. Like they've been at it since 6 a.m. and they're just, they just all stand in a line and like with their leaf blowers, I don't think, I don't think there's many leaves right now, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to be dipping into a few palettes. So I'm going to be using the Tati Beauty palette as well as the Norvina 3 palette. And then obviously the star of the show is going to be the House Labs Rye shade. So I'm going to start off with the shade Story from the Tati Beauty palette. I did go ahead and prime my lids just because like... I, mean, I always prime my lids, but it looks a little weird. I did leave this part of my eyelid um, without primer since like sometimes the liquid shadows can go on a little weird depending on what primer you use. So I'm just gonna play it safe and not place product there. But I did wanna say I took back my Glam Room palette from House Labs. Like if you guys didn't see the review, I posted a few days ago, I'll pop it up. Um, but it just was not my favorite palette. Like it was just super lackluster and I just feel like we're at the point where like I have so many palettes that perform the way I want them to. Like when I use a metallic, I want a metallic, you know? So unfortunately it was not a hit for me. But did you guys know you can take things back to Kohl's now from Amazon? You don't have to put it in a package. You don't have to print off a shipping label. You just take it back to the store and they give you like if you want your refund, I just ended up getting store credit because all my money goes to Amazon like every day. Every day something new is on Amazon that I'm like, I need that. I don't need most of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was like, I'm just going to do this for now. Uh, but they do, of course, you know, give you a coupon for Kohl's. And I was looking around and I was like, Kohl's actually has a lot of stuff. I mean, I knew that because my dad loves Kohl's. Like every year, our presents are generally from Kohl's or Kashko. Now we're going to dip into the ABH palette. So I'm going to kind of play with the deeper shades in here. I liked these tones because they're more red browns compared to like the brown brown in the Tati palette. So I'm probably going to use like E2 and then like C2, which is like the actual red shade, and just start blending that through the crease. So I'm going to take my Worker 2 from Sonia G and just start kind of mixing them together. So I don't want it to be too red, but I want a hint of red. I'm just gonna pop that through the crease. You guys, I was so excited. Sonia G commented on my video when I used her brushes. And like, I don't like I'm just, I'm a baby YouTuber and like that comment just made me be like, I made it. I'm YouTube famous now. Just like Peter says, like Sonia G commented on one of my videos, like, I can die happy. Like it, it made my whole week. Like it was super encouraging. So I appreciated it. She's such a nice person. Like she definitely did not need to do that. Like no one, no one knows who I am. <laughs> so it was, it was just really nice. It's like I have little dots in places and I'm like, it's just my skin. Just in case you, I don't know what's happening to it. Okay. It's going through a rough area, obviously. Like I feel like the like something's about to hatch out of this like one of those shows where it's just like something's moving and a new creature is gonna pop out that's how i feel i don't know why what's happening to me all right i'm gonna grab a cream a cream a clean brush and just kind of work that through to blend out the top area all right so we're gonna use this shade rye in the glam attack i'm really excited about this i like, I mean, obviously I like browns, but like, especially like whiskey. I just like the whole collection. Like I always watch the whiskey commercials, you know, like with the, uh, what's her face? You know what I'm talking about? What is her name? 
I'm like Jackie um, from that 70s show, but I always love the commercials, but I just, I cannot get into like whiskey or scotch or like any of those like adult drinks. Like I'm just like, how do people drink these? So I'm just going to go straight from the applicator. I am very much a wine drinker. Ooh, this is deep. I didn't think it was going to be that deep. So I'm kind of just letting it transfer up into my crease since, you know, that's just what's going to happen with my hooded lids. It's definitely darker than I thought it was to be, but I like it. But let's just swatch it just to kind of see what it, yeah, it's a, it's a deep brown, but very pretty. Like I like it, but I probably wouldn't have, you know, like this color, I feel like could just be blended all throughout the crease and still look really good uh, on its own. To me, I'm like, you could have just called it a chocolate collection. That sounds better to me than whiskey. Um, I can't do shots. I will drink wine, mimosas, and Bloody Marys. That is it. I have just like very much taken a step back from like wanting to go out drinking. Like I just don't, like a glass of wine's good. Like right now, Nick and I will go on the weekends. We've got bikes and we'll bike across the street. It's like a mile bike ride. And that's really fun. Like we'll go and have a glass of wine and sit outside. When Sarissa is nice. I'm gonna take a synthetic brush and just kind of do my best to kind of blend this out. Usually these actually work well blending out, so I'm not worried about it. Using liquids, I always get really, I don't, these are the first ones where I've bought like multiples that I've really liked because usually I'm just like, they don't look good on my eyes, like with my hooded lids, like they kind of transfer everywhere, but the formula on these is really nice. Just not a eyeshadow formula. All right, so let's move on to the face. I've been, uh, you know, yakking away. So this is how it dries down though, just so you guys can kind of see. And they do stay in place really, really well. So that's what I really like about them. All right, so I already primed my face. I'm gonna go in with the Dosa Colors in light medium in shade 118. Um, hopefully it's the right shade. I have never used this before. This is what I got in that Black Friday haul. And I'm gonna use my oval brush. I've been really, really liking the oval artist brushes. I mean, I only have the one, but I really like it for foundation. So I'm just gonna do one pump and see, see if it can cover this monster. Um, I feel bad putting makeup on it, like, but it's been two days. It's not like it just popped up and this is the only day I have to film during the week, so, or at least this week. Oh, but yeah, the brush feels really good. All right, so one pump coverage. Definitely, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Just because I'm testing out for the first time, I'm gonna add just a little bit more, like not even a full one. But I do like the coverage. It feels really nice and lightweight. I feel like, skin tone wise, I feel like I did a good match. Like I'm like, I think, I think it's good. I feel like my skin tone changes so much. Like I'm just really sensitive to sunlight. <laughs> um, I try not to go in the sun, but even just walking to my car, I feel like I will like my, my skin definitely tans very, very fast. Like, so I try to stay out of it, but yeah, I feel like foundations, especially picking shades online, I'm like, I don't know what color I am, you know, or what color I'll be next week. <laughs> like, so I feel like I did, this was a pretty good match though. And I don't mind seeing a little bit of skin. That's why I'm like, I don't need two pumps. Like, I especially don't want to suffocate my skin right now. All right, and then this is the Dosa Colors Concealer in Light Medium, shade 11. I wanted a brightening concealer, so I kind of gambled on this one. Um, I like the doe foot applicator, though. I do like that, and I like the foundation as a pump. I like pump foundations. So I'm going to do three little dots. I'm way more aggressive, I feel like, when I do like base products on camera. Like when I'm talking, I'm just like, geez, what are you, like calm down. Like I don't feel that aggressive the rest of the time, but when I'm filming, I just can't help it. And then I'm gonna use my Japonesque sponge. I found these at Walmart too. Um, it's like random brands are popping up at like Walmart and Costco. All right, I went ahead and cream contoured just a little bit or cream bronzed. With my Bobbi Brown stick. I keep that in the other bathroom and I was just like, okay, I gotta hurry because I know I talk a lot. Uh, but I'm just gonna take my Hula Caramel Bronzer. I want this to be fairly deep since we are going for that chocolatey brown look. I think I'm gonna 
rolls up very nicely. Oh my gosh, do you guys see this present thing in the back? Like, I've wanted that from Pier 1 for so long. Like, for years. And I just wouldn't let myself buy it because I was like, you're not spending that mo money on this fake little present. <laughs> um, but it came in a set of two and I, I love it. It's like my favorite, like, decoration for Christmas right now. Other than my coffee mugs. But, yeah, I... Uh, I really like it. The other one is downstairs. Nick has turned into a Christmas Grinch. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of just had to be like, you know what? Like, yeah, Christmas is stressful, but like we didn't put up the tree. And he's like, can't you put up the tree? Because we've had the box in our, our like living room for two weeks. And I was like, no, it's a family thing. We do it together. And he's just like, I don't want to do Christmas. <laughs> and then he's just, he's just being really Grinchy. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, I get that it's stressful, but at the same time, I don't want to hate every holiday. Like, just get over it. Like, the, just give in. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Like, it, everybody gets a little stressed out for Christmas. But let's just expect it Like, and move on. I'm actually going to dip into... This is the Alien Palette by Jeffree Star. It's this yellow mustard shade. I'm going to kind of use it as a blush. I might still mix in a normal blush, but... I'm still I'm testing it out if I like it, but I think I do. I'm scared to like go over that zit, you know what I mean? But I don't, I like the yellow blush trend, but I'm more like, I'm just gonna use yellow eyeshadows. I am not going out to go buy new eyeshadows. I like the color concealer I picked. I feel like it's a little bit lighter coverage than I expected though. And maybe that's just because I've been using the Jouer concealer that I'm just like oh like I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more but yeah what do you guys think of the yellow blush I kind of like it with this look I'm not gonna lie like I'm, I'm, I'm okay about it it's not gonna be for everybody and I get that but I'm, I'm happy about it all right I'm gonna dip into my Fenty powder and just set my under eye I ended up getting a new shade I got I am using butter today which I like for the under eye but then uh I used my $25 like Sephora thing Rude. I used my $25 like Sephora thing. I wasn't going to use it at all because I was like, I'm not spending 50 to get the 25 off. Like, no, you don't need anything right now. I just ordered the Pat McGrath uh, Star Wars collection. Like, I wasn't going to spend it. But then someone, it wasn't my thing. Like, someone, I saw it just pop up on my feed. I think it was like Kiki's channel. I don't know. I don't watch her. So, but she's saying it worked on the $39 deal with the Too Faced collection with the Becca highlight and the Fenty powder. So I got a full size foundation, uh, Fenty powder and cashew, and then champagne pop for $14. So if you haven't used your coupon, I think that's an amazing deal, just saying. All right, I'm gonna take brownie from Marc Jacobs for my waterline. You can see here that like the way it dried down, I am gonna end up blending back through the crease. But the only thing is like I feel like it would look better on its own just because the sparkle doesn't really come out because I feel like everything's so dark. So it's kind of up to you, but I feel like almost like shearing it out would be better if you want to bring the sparkle out of it a little bit more since it's not just like a matte liquid eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go back into that Norbina palette and just smoke out that lower lash line. All right, I'm going to spray my face with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I don't know if I'd ever repurchase this, but I need to use it. Like, you guys know how I am with setting sprays, and I'm just like... Oh. I can't, like, I get anxiety when I see people just like... Like, I'm just like, how do you do that? How? I don't like it. All right, lastly, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill brush and the palette, and I'm going to dip into... I think I'm going to dip into Sparks. I'm also going to add that to the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to dip a tiny bit into the shade Bomb, just because I want it to be a little bit more glowy. All right, I'm going to put mascara on in a second, but I think lastly I'm going to dip, I've already said lastly, but you know, we were trying to hurry here because it's getting louder outside. Uh, this is the shade Protector from Maybelline. So I think I'm going to use this one. I didn't get hers. 
just because I was like, I don't need it. It's not something I'd wear too often. Um, even though I love these types of shades, they just aren't something I, you know, on reach for on a normal basis. So I was like, you know, I'm going to use what I have. So nice deep chocolatey brown. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Just so you know, I did end up using Kylie's True Brown K lip liner just because, you know, this could go badly quickly um, in terms of, like, I like the Superstay shades, but it's sometimes they, like, they don't dry down. They take a while to dry down, like a while um, compared to other liquid lipsticks. But other than that, I really like the way this came out. I think the Lady Gaga, like the House Labs, I'm happy I had a hit after the palette. Um, but I think it probably would be prettier if you just kind of put that all over the lid and maybe one crease shade rather than doing a full look. But I still really like the way this turned out. The other products, like obviously the foundation and the concealer, I want to test them out more before I give my, you know, impressions of what I think about them. So I'll definitely update you guys in a few weeks on that. But let me know if you've used any of these products. What do you think of them? Um, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Bye guys.